I was uh, talking just a few minutes ago. Uh, well, for me, a few minutes ago. But shit, it might be you know, it might be months before you see the connection between these uh, videos. But we were living near Zurich, uh, and we went to see a musical called Bubbling Brown Sugar. And after the show, I said this, that we, my daughter was getting autographs, and one of the women was the lead in the play. And, uh, of course, you don't recognize them out of costume, out of makeup. Uh, she was on the streets of Zurich, and uh, we went up, and she asked me what I was doing here, and I told her I was a chiropractor, and she said she'd been praying for a chiropractor. And uh, so she came to, got work, to get worked on, and then I worked on quite a few of the people who were uh, in the theater. But I've, what I, my book is called uh, Noticing Fixes More Than Fixing, A Guide to the Intentional Consultation. So when I'm working on somebody, I'm always consulting with them, because that's the thing with chiropractors. Uh, if you do kinesiology, you spend time with your patients and you have to talk to them and you have to direct the conversation or you can get into some really shitty conversations. But I was uh, working on her um, for these chronic headaches she'd had for quite some time and she said, you know, I, I get these feelings of insecurity. Now she's touring. I mean, touring in a, in a major play all over Europe. And I just, I think that that would be fun. I mean, I would run away with the circus if I could, I think. But apparently I wouldn't because I haven't. But she said, you know, the person who was just before me, who actually initiated this musical, uh, has gone on to other things. And I took over. But she got Tonys and Grammys. And and I just feel insecure. In, in, uh, and she did a brilliant job. And she said, I, I feel insecure and I don't know if I'm up for it. And I said, well, get over it. <laughs> she said, what? I said, get over your feelings of insecurity. I said, they don't make any sense. You're touring. You're doing a great job. That We watched you. We loved it. I said, get over it. And she started laughing. Like I said, she was on my chiropractic table and she looked up at me and she said, you know, nobody has ever suggested that before. I'll bet you I can do that. If you've got shit that's bothering you, if you've got things that have been bothering you for years, get over it. Get on with your life. It, it's, it doesn't make any sense. Most of it is connecting the dots, staying in an area that you don't want to be, and just get over it. One of my men mentors, uh, Dr. John Nix, we, uh, said, if you get feedback and it, has, and it applies to you, get the feedback and get over it. He said, if you get feedback in your life and it doesn't apply to you, get the feedback and get over it. Uh, the Eagles had a great song. It was not a number one hit, um, and it was called "Get Over It." You know, and it just went on about how people live their lives. And uh, one great way to live your life is get over it. Have fun. Talk to you soon. www.micpeakperformance.com